Welcome back. Today we're talking about adjusting journal entries. I'm going to put this over here. Okay, we're talking about adjusting journal entries. And adjusting journal entries, um, the reason we have to book them is because there's been some sort of timing difference between when we exchange cash and or invoices and when we actually earn revenue or when expenses are incurred. Adjusting journal entries are generally done on the last day of the month. And the reason we do them is so that we can book revenue or expenses in the correct period. That's the reason, so that we can book revenue and expenses in the correct period. So revenue is booked when we earn it and expenses are booked when they are incurred. The final thing to remember, adjusting journal entries never impact cash. Never, say it with me out loud, never impact cash. Okay. So the first example we're going to use is we're gonna talk about unearned revenue and prepaid expenses. <clears throat> so unearned revenue is from the seller's perspective and it is a liability. Prepaid expenses are from the buyer's perspective and they are an asset. All right, so our example is on January 1st, 2020, we got you covered insurance company, who in this case is the seller. They sell a six month insurance premium or policy to Tsunami Inc, who is our buyer for $600 cash. Okay, so even though Tsunami is going to pay $600 on January 1st, they're not, they're going to use that insurance over six months. So they're going to have six months worth of insurance expense. We Got You Covered Insurance Co., the seller will have a liability while they deliver that six months worth of insurance over the period of six months. All right, so let's talk about what our journal entries look like. On January 1st, our seller, We Got You Covered Insurance, is going to, let's put that right, okay. They are going to debit cash, because they're receiving cash, for $600. And they are going to credit unearned revenue because they haven't earned the revenue yet. They're gonna earn it over the next six months, but on the first day when they get the cash, they haven't provided any insurance yet. Okay, so on this date, they are going to debit cash for $600 and they're going to credit unearned liability which is, or unearned revenue, which is a liability for $600. Okay, then at the end of each month, they're going to recognize revenue of $100. So on 01 31 2020, they're gonna debit cash for $100. So that's 600 divided by the six months, which is the period of time over which they're going to deliver insurance, an insurance policy. So 600 divided by six is 100. Um, but they're not gonna debit cash. They're going to debit unearned revenue. They're going to be reducing their liability. And they're going to credit revenue because by the end of the first month, they will have earned one month's worth of revenue, insurance revenue. So we're going to copy that over and we're going to reduce our liability by 100 and we're going to book $100 of revenue. Okay. So you can see at the end of the first month now, our liability is only 500 and our revenue account has 100. Then on 2-29-2020, we're gonna book the exact same journal entry. So I'm just gonna copy it. And we're going to
decrease our liability by 100 and increase our revenue by 100. And we're gonna do this each month for six months. So I'm gonna just do that really quick so you can see the whole thing. And in fact, let's just copy this. And we're gonna do it six times, so. We'll just change the dates, 03-31-2020. It's gonna be the exact same entry every single month. Debit unearned revenue for 100, credit revenue for 100. Um, 05-31-2020 and 06-30-2020. All right, so let me just get these going. Uh, Let's see. All right, I feel like I should be telling you a joke or something to keep you interested. I don't think I know any clean jokes. And I don't want to get fired, so I'm not telling you any dirty jokes. All right, there we go. So 100 every month, we're going to debit our liability, reduce our liability by 100 bucks, and we're going to increase revenue by 100 bucks until... At the end of six months, when the policy expires, we will have $600 in our cash account. Our liability will be zero because we no longer owe anything because the policy is expired and all $600 will have been moved to revenue. Okay, that is from the seller's perspective. Now let's talk about our buyer, Tsunami Inc. So Tsunami Inc. Has paid for six months insurance, but they're going to use it. They're not using it all up the first month. They're not going to use it up until the, um, they're going to use it over six months. So I'm just going to copy my same dates over just because that's going to make this go faster. And you guys don't need to sit here and watch me type because that will be boring. All right. So we're going to book expense as it's incurred. Oh, one other thing. So this is a regular journal entry, this one on January 1st. The rest of these are AJEs. So I'm just going to note that. So when I'm going back through my records and I'm like, why the heck did I book this? I go, oh, that's right. It was an adjusting journal entry. Okay. So now let's copy our dates again now that we have AJE written in there. And let's rock and roll from the buyer's perspective. So now we're Tsunami. So of course I've done something goofy. All right, my little ploy to save us time, I think is actually taking more time. All right, so when we're Tsunami, so first of all, we know that we credit cash, right? We paid cash of $600. But since we've prepaid for our insurance policy that we're gonna use over six months, we're not going to expense it right here on January 1st. We haven't used it yet. Instead, we are going to debit an asset account called prepaid insurance expense. If you just put prepaid expense, that's fine as well. All right, and that's gonna be $600. So we're going to put this over in our account. So we paid $600. Now we're gonna end up with a credit balance in cash for $600 only because I haven't put any other transactions. Presumably we've already got a, a big debit balance in cash. And so this is just reducing it by 600. And then we're going to give ourselves an asset of $600 with prepaid insurance expense. All right, then every month when we have used up a month's worth of insurance, we're gonna debit insurance expense which is an expense account. And we're gonna credit prepaid insurance expense, which is an asset account. So we'll put our $600 here, or nope, $100. And we're going to expense $100 a month. If you remember, we got you covered insurance 
recognized revenue of $100 a month. And we, Tsunami, are going to recognize expense of $100 a month. So we will go ahead and do that. And oh, that's not going to impact cash. All right. I already told you, never, never, never impact cash. And there I was trying to impact cash. Hopefully you were screaming at me. All right. So we have an asset of $600. At the end of January, we're going to decrease that asset by $100. So we have 500 left. And we're going to increase our insurance expense with a debit for $100. Okay. Then we're going to do this every month. Until it's all used up. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out my T account. Just so you can see that it does end up with zero in the asset account and um, all $600 in expense after six months. Okay. When I give you this on an exam, I probably will not make you do all six months because as we are all learning right now, this is super time intensive. Okay, so at the end of February, we're going to reduce our expense, credit our expense by 100, and we are going to debit expense and recognize $100 of expense because we've used up another month's worth of insurance. We're going to do the same thing at the end of March and April and May. I'm thinking if I change my voice, it'll be more interesting. And finally, June. All right. So let's sing again. All right. So at the end of the six-month time period, by the time the insurance policy expires, we'll still have paid $600, and we'll have recognized expense of $600, but it will be over time. Okay? So you can see two of our common adjusting journal entries one, two, unearned revenue. One, two, prepaid expense. They're really two sides of the same transaction. The seller has unearned revenue until they've delivered the service. The buyer has prepaid expense until they've received all of the service. Okay, uh, that's going to do it. We're going to, our next video will cover accrued revenue and accrued expenses. I'll see you there.